Hey guys, how is it going? We're back with another video and as you can see on the sign right behind me, we are going to be talking a bit about how the manager works in today's video. So um, I mainly did this because I uh, had a feeling, well I have seen a lot of people complain about, well I don't know, I don't really know how the manager works, I'm going bankrupt or uh, you know all that kind of stuff, like I'm losing money because of this guy, I don't want to use him. So I just want to kind of take this video for all, the, all of you who don't really know how it works, so like so you can actually use it and make profits from your store. So um, with that being said, I think we should just get straight into the video. So as you can see right here, I have a little store that I just quickly threw together because I need something to showcase with. But uh, to get a manager, which is the first thing we're going to do, we go into the build menu, we go into infrastructure and then we click on the desk right here and we choose the desk and place it down somewhere in our store that's accessible to the manager. So once we have our desk, we uh, go into the workers menu here and then we click on the managers, uh, funny enough, and we can see right here the manager, managers automatically purchase inventory to keep yourself stuck and the desk is required. So we're going to hire a manager here for $400 with $40 a minute cost to have her. And we're also going to buy a restart just because now we are in the menu so we're just going to get one right here. We're going to use the restart to put the stuff on our shelves and we're going to use the manager to, you know, buy the stuff for us. So um, the way the manager works is uh, basically she works automatically compared to how it works in Retail Tekken 1. So uh, you basically you buy her and you make sure that your shelves are to be stocked and then she basically does everything for you. So as you can see, once we go into our uh, stocked uh, sh stock shelves in here, the menu to stock our shelves, you can see we don't currently have anything put on our shelves, which is why she isn't purchasing anything yet. But as you can also see that once we put something on our shelves, for example, when we put clothing in here, you can see she will immediately start purchasing what is needed. So she just bought a lot of shirts. She actually, she bought 25 in total. 45 it's called not 20 but yeah she bought 35 uh, shirts she buys about 25% uh, more than what is needed for a given shelf so for example we, if we take cold food right here it is able to hold uh, 20, 20 steaks but she should probably she should buy around uh, 25 I think she buys 25 because she will buy 25% more than what is currently what is what is able to be put on shelf so 25% of 20 is 5 Basically, that's how it works, and uh, that's how she's going to buy stuff. You can see she put it on the shelf, and we'll just quickly fill out the rest of the shelf with some stuff. We're gonna put some bananas and some grapes, and uh, basically we're just going to fill out the rest of the uh, the rest of the shelves with uh, with some uh, stuff. So just we have some stuff to sell, and uh, for the last one we're gonna put some TVs on here. Basically, now all you have to do is wait because the manager will automatically buy all stuff for you. And uh, we have, should probably get some customers in because, uh, yeah, we are not making any money. We're down to four, five uh, here, so uh, we should probably start selling something. But as you can see, we get our customers in, they start buying stuff, they give us more money. Our uh, manager right in here starts buying more stuff once we get more money, and basically it goes on like that. It's totally automatic, but what you also, what it also doesn't say this, but uh, you should probably also know that with the manager, which uh, when she buys stuff, it doesn't say it, but it makes sense that when you ex you see she uses the twenty five percent instant delivery fee. So instead of you know, it it does cost more as you can see right here. Instead of four hundred, it does. So if she bought uh, twenty toys, she would pay for five hundred instead of four hundred, which obviously makes sense. It just doesn't say that to you, so you may be thinking. That it and it only buys it for four hundred, even though it does do it for five hundred. You just that's just something you also have to take into account that she does do that. But um, other than that, that's basically how the manager works. Um, I just also want to clarify that of course every store is different. This store here is very small and uh, not very efficient, but it just it's just to demonstrate how the manager works. If you have a giant store with you know hundreds of shelves basically the manager will be working a bit differently because you know you have a lot of shelves compared to this one i only basically only have one of each so uh, you have to manage that in the way because you know otherwise she's going to otherwise she's probably won't be buy buy enough that's also another thing because she does have a spending limit she's only to she's only able to use uh one thousand five hundred dollars per 10 seconds so if you sell more than that if you sell more than she's able to buy per 10 seconds 
that means you're go still going to lose stock and you're going to run out of stock because you sell more stuff than she's able to buy it, you know, to restock this, data, this place. So if that's the case, you're gonna have to buy more managers and have more manager discs because then you need more managers, you know, to buy the stock that you need. And then also the last thing here is that the manager also, of course, levels up like every other employee does. And the boost she gets here is that once she reaches level 2, she's going to get a 20, a 10% increase in uh, what she's able to spend. So she goes from 1,500 to, I believe, that would then be 1,650. And then at the next level, at, she's going to have 20. And at the next one, that it's um, 30 and all the way up to 40 at level 5. So she's basically going to just be able to spend more money the more uh better than she gets which means that you won't be able you won't be needing as many managers because she's able to buy more at uh, once but that's basically how the manager works as you can see i'm always starting to make a profit and if i just stood here for maybe a couple of hours i would start to make you know i'd basically be making millions in uh, a couple of hours so uh, yeah and i'll be able to expand really quickly and uh, yeah so that's basically all you need to know about the manager um and uh, with that, I don't really have much more to say. If uh, you guys want to see um, other kind of tutorials like this, going in depth with how um, mechanics in the game works for you guys to, you know, improve on your own uh, store designs and uh, make them work and stuff, be sure to tell me in the comments because I would love to do that. That gives me more content to work with and uh, some stuff, some stuff that you guys want to watch. So uh, if you want to see something like that, be sure to like and comment in the. In the description no not the description in the comment section what you guys want to see because i will maybe want to do that so uh, yeah other than that i would want to i just want to say thank you for watching uh, if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like and if you really enjoyed it be sure to subscribe but until the next video i'll see you guys then